Hello, YouTube. New Ohio Prepper again. Yep, I'm still alive. <clears throat> I'm going to take this moment here to uh, thank all the veterans. Um, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, it means the world. Because if it wasn't for you men and women doing what you do, risking your lives, we wouldn't be able to sit here and make these videos. And, you know, so thank you. Thank you so much. It truly means the world. And to all you haters out there disapprove, sit down, shut up, think about it. Now, if it wasn't for the men and women risking their lives, you wouldn't have the right or freedom to speak your mind. So whether you approve or not, you should thank them for the freedoms that you have. <clears throat> Alright, with that being said, how y'all doing out there? Doing good? Alright, good, 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 good. It's been a weird summer, huh? Uh, tell you what, it's been a little rough for me. Got myself into some legal trouble beginning of the summer. It's kind of put my preppings and everything to a halt due to money. Um... I've been basically spending my time reading books and trying to find more information, finding books that I need to have or want. Um, got my son working on a bug out bag, so we've been kind of fooling with it a bit. Yeah, he's learning a lot about what he needs to to survive. I mean, he's, I don't know if he's actually paying attention to me or if he's paying attention to the news, but he, he realizes there's something happening and he knows something's coming. Um, he brings it up to me a lot, um, and we constantly uh, look at different ways, thinking, "Wow, that's a cool idea." You know, I have to, you know, if you if you do a little research and do a little homework, you will find there's like a, over a hundred ways to start a fire. There's a gazillion ways to build a shelter. There's millions of ways to purify water. There's millions of ways to you know get food. If you can't hunt, you know, so you ain't got a gun or bow and arrow. You can still set tra snet, <laughs> set snares, and you know catch you some rabbits or some squirrels. Um, you know, go fishing, get some food. I mean, even if a net, get a fishing net. You know, just go out there. You know, there's there's so many different ways of getting food. You just gotta do your homework and you know and find it. You you can learn. Not all the ways are you know beautiful like all high dollar items went on it's you know it's not artwork but you know if you want artwork you're supposed to go to the museum this is real life and we know real life is ugly so you, that purification you know system you may build from home depot or whatever it may not be the same one that the guy down the street's got because you know he didn't you didn't spend a hundred dollars on it you may spend sixty dollars but say you know yours is going to work and then you're going to have more money to put towards other preps or buy other purification kits to do the fact that, you know, you're going to have that issues. Um, you know, as far as things breaking and whatnot, uh, I'm hearing a lot of words about redundancy, you know, backup plans, backup plans, backup plans. That's awesome. That's wonderful. Everybody needs them. you got to have a backup plan. And right now my backup plan is, you know, written down on pieces of paper or getting books that uh have the information in it that I can't remember. I mean, there's so much information as far as needing or what you need and things you could do to survive. It's, it's really it can't can be mm -hmm. it can be seriously overwhelming. If you think about it, there's way 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 so much information. There's and everyone's trying to feed you and force feed you this and this and that. But you're gonna have to stop and look and say that hey, this is you, you need to find you know your area where you're either going to bug out to or where you're at. You know your individual needs so you can, you know, prepare for those. If you're diabetic, you know, you got to get the insulin, you know, things like that. You know, you got to have certain kind of medicines, you better start stocking up on that stuff. Because if the infrastructure falls, you're not going to be able to run to Walmart, Myers, or, you know, Walgreens or any of that jazz to go get the medicines. If you got an herbal book, you know, like I do here, a lot of information in there, and that's going to teach me how to make, you know, teas, coffee, cough syrups, you know, any of that jazz. There's even a formula to help asthma in here. Um, <clears throat> and this book here, a Boy Scout book, I've had this thing since I was in the Boy Scouts. Uh, it's like a survival book all itself. I mean, it tells you how to even start with, you know, 
building over a government, have shit, you know, be civilized, <clears throat> camping, it's, you got wild edibles in it as well, what reptiles to stay away from, what you can eat, what you can't eat, it's, it's, it's full, full information, and I know this book here, it's pretty thick, and it's, you know, it's been around for a while, but there's more information that could fit in here, they could have made this, you know, huge, think about it, you could have a whole giant library of books, here's another great book you should have, especially right now, the next four years, we're going to need to do a lot of praying, a lot of praying, heck, I know, I don't know, I'm jumping off the top, uh, off subject again here, but on election night, um, I had so much hope, I was so ready to mm, change, I guess we call it, <laughs> but uh, we didn't get it, um, I was frustrated enough, a bit scared, but I realized that, you know, I can't be scared, I can't be scared, I just gotta keep preparing, and be prepared for when things do fall apart. I get myself mentally prepared and physically ready. And that's basically what I've been working on the past three months. You know, like I said, I've been riding my bike to work, <coughs> which has helped out a lot. You know, I mean, not even mentioning just gas itself. I went four months without having to buy gas. Dude, that, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, and, you know, it only, it only takes like uh, maybe four minutes to drive to work from here. Um, that was still four months I didn't buy gas. Oh, yeah. That was sweet. Every time I told someone that, they were jealous. Which was, you know, rightfully so. But I think everybody should know. Anyone that could ride a bike should ride a bike to work. It's good for you physically. It's good for the, you know, your wallet. It's good for Mother Nature. But there we go again. Spinning off subject. Anyway. Um... I guess you got to get yourself ready. Be prepared. Uh, I'll do some more videos, but they're just going to basically be some talking videos. Because um, about all I got right now. Like I said, my preps are kind of slowed. So, anyway, get yourself ready. Be prepared. And uh, keep smiling.